Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberville St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. A windy St. Louis. Once again, it's windy. So I apologize if the mic gets a lot of wind noise. Uh, once I get in the car, everything will be okay. Uh, today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL R-Line. This particular one is Oryx White Pearl on the exterior with Noiset Brown leather interior. It features 20-inch alloy wheels, LED headlights, LED running lights, that aggressive front end, R-Line front end, and dual LED running lights on each side here. The R-Line logo right here on the left corner of the grill. The grill design, it goes right into the Volkswagen logo, front facing camera right there, and the piano black and chrome finish on the base of the front the bumper. Keyless set entry on two doors, body colored paint panels, below the chrome line down the side here. The R-Line badge right here in the front quarter panel. Nice bow line down the side into the top of the tail lights. Chrome accents around the windows. Silver roof rails as well. The body color paint continues back here under the chrome line into the quad faux exhaust tips on the back here. Park distance sensors are back there as well. It says Tiguan right here below the Volkswagen logo. SEL off to the left and a new 4Motion badge off to the right. 4Motion is Volkswagen's all-wheel drive. Very popular car. Now, this car came off the truck. 20 minutes after it came off the truck, someone called on it, said they wanted to come buy it. So I'm making this video before they get here. These cars don't last long. They last hours, not weeks. As we open the inside here, I failed to turn on the radio there. We'll turn on the radio there. Here's a look at the interior. Noiset brown with black accents there. The black is leatherette. The brown parts are leather. Heated and ventilated at that. Here's a look at the door panel right here. Noiset brown inset here with the premium stitch. The arm pad right here has also a contrast stitch here. Uh, this is going to be leatherette right here. Silver tips on the switches. Power lift gate right here. I can open the rear hatch. You can see that right there. I can also close it from here by lifting up on that same button and holding it until it closes. Back to the seat detail here. There's a, a white piping stitch right here, up the side into the bolsters, the premium stitch back here, contrast stitching. Also in the headrest here, brown and black there. Three seat memory right here, power lumbar, power forward back up and down is handled by this lever here, and then your seat back adjust is handled by this one. The passenger seat is also power. Our line scuff plate right here that is backlit, the white back backlight right here. As we climb in here to get out of that wind, Fender audio right here on the door panel here. Um, you do have Fender premium audio on this stereo. It's also got the name badge over there. You do have uh, vent control here, vent here, vent here, and a vent over here as well. Um, back to this door panel here. This is a metallic finish here. Uh, it's got a wood grain pattern on it. It's a very nice touch. Uh, you do have the chrome for the door handle uh, and the door locks here are trimmed out very nicely here. There's a look at that, ar that armrest in the door panel again. Your window lock button is right here so you can lock out the rear windows. Automatic headlights are right here. All weather lights or poor weather lights, you just pull out on this guy here to replace fogs and they actually light up your peripheral areas there. Coin box for storage right there. A leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel. It's an R-line steering wheel. So I can pull out on this guy, push in, raise and lower it. That's your normal telescoping steering wheel that's on all Volkswagens. But this one has that extra touch. This reminds me of the old school GTI. It's now back in the 22 GTI as well. But you've got this sporty steering wheel here with the fatter grip here and the little points up here. Uh, the golf ball texture kind of, or the dimple texture right here at nine and three. Capacitive touch on the steering wheel. Volume control is right here. Cruise control is right here. And then also your travel assist button is right here. Plus and minus on your speed here and then set and resume are also here. And then also your following distance. So to turn on cruise control, I'm gonna hit that button right there. Now it lights up right there. And this is backlit too. So when the car is off, this is all dark, but it's all backlit, very nice. 
you have that digital cockpit right there i'm going to go ahead and put nav on this screen over here behind the steering wheel so you can see that it helps point out the different screens here so that's going to move over to here this is your dial screen by hitting the view button this button right here i can change that to widescreen and then also crop screen so the crop screen allows me to edit things here actually all three screens allow me to edit so i can change what's displayed there my temperature gauge is right here my fuel gauge is going to be over here and as you consume fuel these bars disappear you do have very nice uh controls here this is a nice setup let's look at those vents again we go back to the radio it's an am fm satellite radio with presets gesture control so when that hands right there i can wave my hand across the front there i'm getting better at this gesture control allows those presets to swipe across i can swipe back as well um, now i do have 36 presets here 36 and they're all married together so it doesn't matter if they're am satellite or uh, fm radio so they're all connected there so i got all those presets uh, i do also have app connect which allows me to do android auto apple carplay or mirror link wirelessly on this car i do have wireless charging down here as well that little bank right there you can see the little indentation there or the little markings there for wireless charging i just set my phone down on that in the case and it will charge there now if you're using a pop socket it will not work with that uh, but it'll work with pretty much everything else two usb-c connections here they're also backlit and a 12 volt charger port right there for charging capacitive touch for the climate control as well i'm going to actually raise that there i don't want it to be on super low it's not that hot today but i can raise the temperature i can also slide my finger across to do that uh, we'll do about 72 there and i can also adjust the fan speed by sliding or tapping so i can tap however i want there uh, i'll turn it up a little bit there heated seats for both driver and passenger are all capacitive touch as well uh, ventilated seats are also another feature here so i have heated and ventilated seats this is new for the 2022 that rhymes uh and they're three phase here so i can turn them on and off just by three taps oops there we go that one i'm not getting that one to respond to me there there we go now you have climate control on both sides here it's dual and then you have the menu button here that allows you to if you enjoy fingerprints you can slide it up and down right here you can also change what's here and turn off the sync system here as well um, so you can have individual climate control for each person here so it's dual zone um, you do also have a fantastic backup camera if I put this in reverse here it's an HD camera I do also have trajectory steering I turn the wheel left or right it's going to move accordingly the yellow line and then the red line signifies where the bumper is. The green line signifies where uh, the bumper is. I do also have park assist on this car. So park assist, if I show that here, it has trajectory, I'm sorry, uh, parallel parking, perpendicular parking, and straight end parking here. So um, I don't demonstrate that in this video, but I, I've demonstrated it in a few others, and it still works the same. Auto start stop shut off is right there. So I can push that button right there and that disables the start stop system. Uh, I'm going to turn this temperature down again here because it went back up. Also, uh, rear wiper is controlled here as well. Rain sensing wipers, adaptive cruise control lane assist, all that good stuff is here. Um, for the assist systems, on the tip of the stalk right here, I pushed that button. I almost forgot about these. Lane assist that guy just hit okay and that one's on adaptive cruise control regular cruise control side assist if i turn that off and then turn it back on you'll see it light up there and also over there so i have those as well i do also have rear traffic alert uh all of these are nice systems to have there's there's stellar safety systems and this car will also have emergency assist so in the event of an emergency uh the car will sense sense that you're maybe not attentive or not giving it to the feedback when it when it asks for it um it will actually slow the car down stop the car apply the parking brake throw on the hazards and honk for help pretty nice you do have stainless covered pedal covers that caps down here the footrest is is stainless and the brake pedal as well as the accelerator there boring socks today guys nothing special there over here in the glove box more of the wood grain and just below it there's your manuals the tire warranties are in the ziploc bag right there so you've got all that good stuff there you do also have 
um, a a climate control or a cooled glove box here as well. It's not going to be like totally air conditioned, but it, it does keep stuff. So if you like to hide candy bars and stuff, although I don't advise it, it'll keep them cooler than the wood in a hot car. Wood grain interior right there. Wood grain, I'm sorry, wood grain pattern here and then also over here as well. Here's a look at that passenger seat. Again, heated and ventilated. Over here on the side, there's your button for the power. Forward and back and up and down and then seat back there. There is no lumbar support on that side. You do have uh, also pockets for bottles of water or cups or what have you there and also over here. Two cup holders right here in the middle. There's a look at your key fob right there. Slim, fits in your pocket nice. There's a panic alarm on the, on the side and then you have lock, unlock, uh, remote start and then also your, your power lift gate and then uh, of course, the, yeah, the remote start there. You'll get two keys just like this. Um, the push button is right here for the start system and then you have the electronic parking brake You just lift up on that guy like that to activate it and then put your foot on the brake and push down to release This is all-wheel drive. So you do have that snow mode. You have this knob here to do all that uh, Snow mode I can turn it back to the roadway now. I have eco normal sport and custom if I enjoy putting those fingerprints on there I can touch them on the screen here or I can push this knob and do it finger free on the screen here so that cuts down on that the uh, um, fingerprints. Then I also have off-road and then off-road custom. And off-road custom is going to allow me to tweak these things here. Hill descent control, I can turn it on and off. Um, and then I can also do that with hill start assist, park assist, on and off. Uh, for all-wheel drive system, normal and off-road. Steering, I can do an eco or sport, I'm sorry, normal or sport. And then drivetrain. Uh, I can change that between normal and off-road, adaptive cruise control. I can do comfort, normal, sport, or eco. Um, and then climate control, of course, normal or eco. Uh, and then there's, of course, the reset button there. So I'm going to turn this back to the roadway here. And now I have these four to choose from. Uh, up above, I do have the home link auto dimming mirror uh, with the three button display, uh, three buttons for three, three door garage door memory. Uh, and the fourth button for Bluetooth right there. And then you do also have a digital compass right there. A vanity mirror with a light above. It's an LED light on each side. Notice the black headliner as well. It's a dark headliner. The R lines come with that dark headliner there. And this sunshade is also dark in color, uh, but it retracts here to re reveal the beautiful blue sky that finally came out today. Um, panoramic sunroof. This pane of glass stacks on top of that one. Pop-up windscreen right here beautiful beautiful sunroof love these things all right there's a look at the seats again and a little more light in here this armrest right here lifts up there's more storage inside of here so you have two usbs up here and then when we climb in the back you'll see a third one back there there's a look at those alloy wheels very nice these are probably some of the best wheels that volkswagen puts on a car this one's priced at 39505 extras on this one are going to include 395 for the oryx white pearl paint that's an upgrade or that's a premium charge and then 375 for the auto dimming home link mirror with a four-year subscription to home link connect 275 for the monster mats a set of four and the cargo blocks in the back and the heavy duty trunk liner 205 for vw prepaid care and maintenance on the car and 90 bucks for a roadside assistance kit bringing you to that 39 505 now the reason we have this 30,000 mile service on here is this car was originally going to go to a different dealer and we actually traded for it uh, they got one of our one of our cars and we've got this one in trade we don't normally do that because we give you three years free free maintenance already on the cars so this one here won't have any added uh, free maintenance but it's got three years of maintenance included there's a look at the back door panel here speaker back here as well the seats here more of the white piping here very nice touch these seats back here are not heated. That's important to understand. The Atlas and Crossport, the Atlas and Atlas Crossport both have heated seats in the second row. The Tiguan does not. Leatherette right here, trimmed out in black. There's a look at your headrest there. They're manually adjusted there. The two outside ones are black and brown. The middle one's going to be all black. Still more contrast stitching here and also right there. As we climb in here, lots and lots of leg room here. Magazine pocket right here. The vents back here for the rear passengers as well. Little cubby right here and a 12 volt charger port right there. There is that other USB-C connection right there. Here's a look through from the back to the front. 
very, very nice car. This car is very nicely done and it's under 40 grand. There's a lot in this car for under 40 grand. This car is a stunner. It's a showstopper, it's a head turner. There's a look through again. Center console, armrest, and also shifter there and back here to the back. Magazine pocket on this side as well. Door inset trimmed out in Noiset Brown there. Black armrest right here. Black seats trimmed out in white piping as well. Fold down armrest right here. Squishy yet firm. Cup holders right there. These three seats have a pass through button right here. Push down on this guy here. This seat folds down, steel reinforced back right here. The steel plate is here in the event there is a rear impact. Anything that's back there in the back will want to drive forward, penetrating the seat or injuring someone in a seat. This is designed to stop that. This stops that movement forward and it keeps the passengers safe. Very nice touches. Safety is important for Volkswagen. So they, they put a lot of thought into these things. There's a look at that manual headrest again, a little push button on the side there and the adjustable uh, seat belt right there. Same on this side. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. There's a look at those wheels up close again. Park sensors on the rear here. And between the G and the U is the button to open the hatch. Here's a look through from the back to the front. Panoramic sunroof right there. Steel reinforced seats right here. Monster mats here, roadside assistance kit here, cargo blocks here. Front license plate on this one, still in the wrapper right here. This one also has wheel locks. Those are not installed, they're back here extra. And then you also have an adapter to bring a USB-C back to a USB-A. Privacy cover is also stored underneath the floor here. It's nests right there. And then there's your quick release subwoofer, fender subwoofer right there and your spare is underneath. Jack apparatus is also underneath this. Seat pulls on either side so you can pull those seats forward. Just like that. And there's a look at that power lift gate. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles and includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 to 20,000 mile oil changes will be covered by Volkswagen. This particular vehicle, in addition to that, has a third year of SUV care, which gives you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are covered. Also, on any other Volkswagen that you would buy from me, I will give you a third year free. This one already has it, so there's no need to add the third year. But any other Volkswagen, if you're watching this video and this car is gonna be long sold, I'll give you a third year free maintenance on any of those. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, make sure you come to the St. Peter's location, not the other location. There's two Bomberito Volkswagens in St. Louis. I'm at St. Peter's. We will give you that 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. Give me a call if you're interested in a car like this one, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.